hope I never pissed anybody off in my childhood to the point that they want to get revenge on me and kill me. Because that's scary. Hey, so I'm back to do another video for the Harmons channel. This week's theme is Love is in the Scare. I have chosen Valentine from 2001. So this movie is about five women who are being stalked by a killer in a mask. And it all centers around Valentine. So this is my kind of movie. I like things from like the 90s and early 2000s. So this is really my jam. I really like the cast in this movie. It has Denise Richards, who's from Wild Things, David Boreanaz, who was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, and Bones. I really love him. This also stars Marley Shelton, who was in Death Proof and Planet Terror. I always get her mixed up with Heather Graham. They kind of look similar to each other, so I always got to be like, which one are you? <laughs> And this also has Jessica Capshaw, who is on Grey's Anatomy, and Jessica Caulfield, who is on Urban Legends, The Final Cut, and Katherine Heigl from Roswell and Grey's Anatomy. I really love her too. So I really like the mask in this movie. The killer's look is kind of creepy to me. The mask is kind of like a um, cherub cupid thing and wears like a big long black coat just kind of all in black and the way the lighting hits the mask and everything is just creepy a lot of the um scenery is really cool too um a lot of it's really creepy as well i do like the house where they have the party it's kind of really decked out good for Valentine's. Got the Valentine balloons. And the walls are kind of already pink. So that really works for it. And um, it's cool. So this movie centers around Valentine's Day. I mean, there's a Valentine's Day party. You got cards. You got hearts. You got flowers. And you got maggot filled chocolates what can you not love about that so this movie is like a revenge movie and a whodunit movie because somebody is out for revenge but you don't know who it is and you're trying to figure it out and you just don't know i really like mysteries so i think that's one of the one of the reasons i like this movie is i like trying to figure out who the killer is so there's not a lot of blood in this movie, but there are some interesting kills with a variety of different weapons. I mean, there's a bow and arrow, there's a hot iron, there's even a drill. And the killer is stalking somebody that just creeps me out because he just looks creepy and I'm just like, where is he? Is he going to find the person they're hiding? And I'm like, no. So my favorite line in this movie is, okay, he's no angel, but he's not a murderer. I think that's kind of a dig at David Boreanaz's character, Angel. It's kind of cool that maybe they're self-aware of that. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, I like that line. So this movie has a killer soundtrack because it's got bands like Orgy, uh, Rob Zombie, Static X, Disturbed, um, Deftones, Marilyn Manson, and it gets bonus points for having Linkin Parks pushing me away. Linkin Park is my all-time favorite band ever, so bonus points for that. So, the only bad thing, in my opinion, about this movie is 
the characters are not really that likable, even though I like them because I like the people that are playing the characters. Um, they're not that likable because, you know, most of them, they just seem stuck up or, I don't know, they bring the problems on themselves by what they do and how they act. So, yeah, I think that would be the only bad thing. There's just too much about this movie I like. And you should maybe check it out if you haven't seen it. If you have, watch it again. Maybe you'll see something different. And maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Anyways, check out the Horror Men's channel and join in on the fun. Love is in the scare.